hey guys welcome to ss unitech susil this side and today we are going to see about the link services in the adf so let's get started so what is the link services so link services are very much like to connection string so which define the connection information needed for the service to connect the external resources and those resources could be your sql server or your blob stories so you can think on that way like you are having a data set and that represent the structure of the data so data set actually contains the actual information of the data and for getting the data into the data sets we are required to have a connection and that connection is called as a linked service so this is the link service and link services are very similar to the connection strings in the ssis so you can simply understand link services are connection strings so go to on the azure portal and we'll try to create the connection string or link services there so here i am and we can go inside the manage so inside the manage we will see the option for the link services so here you can see the option for the connections and here you can see the link services integration runtimes today we are going to more focus on the link services so here i have already created a link service so let me try to create a new link service so you can see this new click on that and after that you can see these are the options available on which we can create the link services so first i want to create the link service with the azure blob storage so let me go and try to type the blob so you can see this azure blob storage let me click the continue so go to on the second tab and here if you have remember we have created this storage account that is ssq testing and under that we have created this container so if you haven't watched the videos inside the azure tutorial so i have created all these there so you can watch how we can create all these on those videos so go to on this and here and here first we can rename this so let me call this as blob stories so this is the blob you can define the description under this and after that here we can see the connect via integration runtime so we will be going to discuss about the integration runtime later in this video series so as of now you can skip this and here we can see the authentication method so the first option the account key and the other options are also available so let me leave this with the default option that is account key after that we have the connection string and azure key vault so for the azure key vault i will record another session so you can understand about the azure key vault here i am going to select this connection string after that we can see the from azure subscription or enter everything manually so i am going to choose the first option here we need to select under which subscription we want to create this link service so we have only one subscription so we can select that and after that it is asking the storage account like on which storage account we want to create the service link service so we can select this ssu testing that we can see here so on this storage account we are going to create the link service so once everything is done then we can test the connection from right bottom so test connection succeed so we can click on create so it will create a new link service with this storage account that is ssu testing so as you can see it is created successfully so under this we can see the related option so related we can see zero because we have created this link service but we are not going to use this service anywhere inside the adf pipelines so it is related to so in the adf pipelines two places we are going to utilize this link service now let me click on new again and this time i am going to create the link service with the azure sql database let me click on continue here let me call this with azure sql connection string 
and after that everything we can leave as it is here we can see the select this enter manually here on which server we want to connect that is ss unitech dot database dot dot net so this is your server name go to the database name so the database is ssu if you have remember in the azure tutorial playlist we have created the server and we have created the database so on that server we are going to connect now in the username we need to specify pbi and under the password we need to enter the password now let me try to click on the test connection so test connection succeed we can click on create so it will create a new link service with the azure sql connection that is created and in the related you can see the zero so once we will be going to use this connection string here under the related it will be going to increase one by one so this is all about the link service so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video with the data sets thank you so much